What's up guys, Dustin here, Aiden Off Road. Hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. We're gonna be installing a winch on this bumper. Stay tuned. Woo! So I've been collecting parts for this winch install, finally have everything together. Let's go ahead and open up these boxes, check out some of the components and the parts that we're going to install today, and we'll get that winch on this Jeep. So to get everything ready for preparation and in installing the new winch and winch plate, we're going to go ahead and remove 10 bolts. There's four holding the plastic cover over the sway bar, and two on top of the bumper, and then two on the sway bar. Once those are removed, you can remove the plastic cover and continue removing the bolts on top of the bumper and the bushing clamp on the frame for the sway bar. Next, you're gonna locate the package of hardware that came with the winch plate and install these spacers. There's gonna be two spacers that go on the clamp of the sway bar. Next, I'm gonna set the winch plate on some stands and then go ahead and install the fair lead. There's gonna be two bolts, two lock washers, and two nuts. Go ahead and tighten those nice and snug. You're gonna slip the nuts in like this all four nuts slip them in like this you'll find these holes and you'll have four nuts that slip into these the flange or the body of the winch and then you'll slowly just rotate it over find where your holes are going to line up on your plate and then rotate very carefully and set the winch on top of your plate like so install the four bolts that bolt the winch to the winch plate and you want to make sure these are tight all right, so now that the winch is secured to the plate, we can go ahead and take the plate like this and set it on. Make sure our spacers are good. Everything lines up. Good to go. I spent quite a bit of money on this hardware, so I want to reuse that. But the kit for the winch plate does come with new hardware. I'm going to go ahead and put this hardware back on and torque these to 75 foot-pounds. I'll just hook this on and using my dikes bend these bend these out like that. I had to flip these brackets around so the screws are in the front and these are the wires the main cables so I'm gonna put them in the front of this uh, electrical box and then it basically just snaps on and I'm just gonna put it in the middle of the Expo logo it just clips on like that and then you'll go ahead and just take your screwdriver and that locks the uh, box into position just like that so on the electrical box you're gonna have two long one red one black cables those are gonna go land straight to the battery this one um, is already connected into the box you're gonna have to uh, hook this lug up to the motor and it's gonna be the terminal at the bottom which uh, is down here you're gonna see it right here it's got a washer and then you're also gonna take the thin black wire which is this one right here and you're gonna put those two together so these are gonna bolt here so there's a stuff called dielectric grease good for electrical connections it helps prevent corrosion I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of that on the nut and on the terminals and on around the sleeve of the terminal. So I'm gonna take some more of that grease and wipe the cables like so. And that will help corrosion, especially if you're in the salt belts or if you're going through a lot of mud or water this is a good idea to do this. So pretty much the, uh, the color code is pretty simple. You're gonna put the yellow one where the yellow sleeve is. You're gonna put the black one on where the black sleeve is and the red one on where the red sleeve is. And the two longer cables are gonna go to the battery. So I'll go ahead and add my washers and my lock washer 
and then we'll go ahead and tighten these down with a 14 millimeter socket they don't have to be really really tight just snug to where that uh, washer the crush washer flattens out you don't want to break these off just snug to where the lock washer locks and then I'll go ahead and slip these sleeves over the bolt Just like that nice and clean got the sleeves over the connections to protect the connections so here's my battery setup again I'm going to use some of this dielectric grease silicone compound and then I'm just going to put some on the cable we're always going to do the positive first work on that one and then land the negative last So I got my bolt here and thread on this nut. Okay. Go ahead and install my cable and add the nut. Okay guys, I just want to give you my thoughts on the overall quality of the build of the winch itself. It's a 10K winch, um, other than the electrical box, all the cabling looked pretty good in quality. Um, all of the connectors looked good in quality. The synthetic rope feels good and, and looks good in quality as well. Um, the clevis, we can always upgrade that later, but um, it is a pretty solid clevis. Um, the cabling looks good. How the electrical box mounts good. It also has a plug here where you can plug in a manual um, pendant or remote if you say and that basically just plugs in right here you find your connection and you have instant control of the winch you can go in and out. so I actually have it on free spool I need to engage the winch I believe that's engaged yeah so um, overall, the quality of the winch looks really good. Um, it also came with these remotes here, these wireless remotes. They have a safety feature on the side to power on the remote. So you don't want to forget to turn that off. But um, both of these remotes will work. And I like this option as far as a wireless option. Um, you can also upgrade older winches with this option, but this one already came with two remotes for wireless control. So you can stand 50 feet away from the vehicle. And if you're flipping over a vehicle back onto its four wheels or you're getting yourself out of a situation, um, being remotely away from the vehicle is definitely a good safety feature. Um, and then you have your end control and your out control. Now, as far as the winch, it is kind of noisy. It sounds like it's gonna fall apart, but um, for the most part, it's been pretty solid. I do plan on doing a, re a, a total review on this winch. Uh, somewhere in the future, you'll see it um, being used out in the field, um, but I didn't want to waste too much time with this video. This is mainly just the installation, and we'll do a follow-up review on it later. I did watch a few videos where you can actually take the gears off and the planetary gears and then get some premium grease in there add more grease i guess they don't come well greased um where they come from or they're made um so that is an option if you want to quiet this thing down more um, you can take this apart and re-grease it um, which we might be doing that in another video so guys as you can see the winch installation and the winch plate to the factory bumper was a pretty quick install a uh, couple of bolts wires good to go if you haven't checked out the video on the custom bumper this is a factory TJ bumper. We modified it to look like this, a little stubby, off-road capable bumper. Um, and we finally got the winch installed, super excited. If you're interested in the winch plate, I really like it because it uh, sits really profiled and it's really nice up to the factory bumper. Or the winch, if you're interested in any of these items, I'll list the links in the description box below. If you purchase something, it helps out the channel and um, I do get a small commission of that, so that's really awesome. Hey, if you like camping, um, cooking on the trails, trails, rocks, mud, um, Jeeps on trails, 
stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot more content on that coming here in the future hit the like button because it tells people that this is a good video so and also check out my other videos that may be helpful to you consider subscribing that'll be very helpful and we'll see you guys on the next video have a good day peace